For us, um, in Unilever, it really was, a, it was an honour and a privilege to be asked to be involved with the Emerging Technologies Competition. I mean, we have a big commitment towards sustainability, and we've realised that the solution's probably out there, but it isn't in the hands of any one person or any one company. So we wanted to get involved with the Royal Society of Chemistry and the Emerging Technologies Competition, really because we want to find, first of all, what are the new ideas coming through that can help make a difference in the, in the space of sustainability, but also how do we go about putting the right elements together and I think we see Royal Society of Chemistry as being a partner that has a fantastic network. The diversity of entries here reflects that and for us it's about trying to bring it together. We get a lot of benefits from our involvement in this. One, you know, it's a great public relations exercise, you know, P&G being out here talking to potential partners, small companies, SMEs, academics, that our name is getting out there. That, that's one benefit that we get from it. But we're also on the lookout for emerging technology that could be useful to our business. So hopefully, you know, we'll make some uh, connections today that will result in better products for P&G in the future that will benefit our consumers in, in, in our business. This morning really was about um, having short meetings with the winners from the, uh, from the category we sponsored. Really that was about trying to talk to them a little bit more to understand what their key challenges are and look at ways to either help them work towards finding a solution to some of their challenges that they're facing or try and help them make the right connections. So it could be giving them advice on intellectual property, giving them advice on you know, how to find potential funding, linking them with other partner companies and academics, really just to do our best to help them make a success of, of their ideas. So there was quite a lot of communication on a technical point of view, but also from just a business point of view, you know, what could they do more, what could they do better? Could the industry partners help them to try and in fact to develop those ideas further? It allows us actually to see the innovation that's actually emerging in the chemistry field itself. I was actually amazed by the diversity of applications that came, came through the competition. We have a rich, proud history in chemistry in, in, in Britain and, and you know, as a chemist I'm very passionate about the role that chemistry plays and continues to play um, in raising the quality of life, raising the quality of hygiene, the quality of, of living that people can enjoy. So I think for us, anything that we can do to try and kind of foster the next generation of chemists, try and encourage the people who are out there already to, first of all, maximise the ideas that they have, nurture creativity, is it, a positive for us. You know, I've been involved in the competition for four years now, and it's going from strength to strength. We've had an amazing lineup this year. Really great, great day yesterday, and a great day today. Mm -hmm.